Okay, so we know you're expecting a video from Jimmy Duresta. He wasn't able to produce one this week because of an issue that flooded his workshop, but he'll be back with us soon. Instead, we have a cool technique to share in its place, splicing a wire to NASA specifications. If you've ever needed an incredibly strong wire splice, or you just wanted to create anything on your workbench that would pass NASA's rigorous standards, you'll need a lineman splice. The lineman splice was developed during the days of the telegraph for wires that need to be under tension. Properly made, the lineman splice should be stronger than any other part of the wire. Here's how to make one. Strip about one inch of the insulation from the ends of the wires to be spliced, and then tin the leads with solder. Make a 90 degree bend in each lead, and place the crooks of these bends into one another. Begin to twist one of the leads around the other, keeping your twist as tight as possible. You want the coils touching each other while making constant contact with the lead it's twisting around. Coil the other lead in the exact same manner. Trim off any excess ends so that the splice has no sharp protrusions. Once you're satisfied with the coils, apply solder to the entire splice. Ensure that the solder is not only covering all contacts of the splice, but is also present between the coils. Now, before we go to space with the splice, let's check out our work against the NASA standard. The conductor shall be pre-tinned. There shall be at least three turns around each conductor and the wrap shall be tight with no gaps between adjacent turns. The wrap shall not overlap and the ends of the wrap shall be trimmed flush prior to soldering to prevent protruding ends. Conductor shall not overlap the insulation of the other wire. Solder shall wet all elements of the connection. The solder shall fill it between the connection elements over the complete periphery of the connection. While the lineman splice may be over-engineered for the needs of most wire joints, it's a great skill to have when you need an incredibly strong splice. Plus, it's just fun to know when you've made something that'll pass muster with NASA. If you liked this video, subscribe to our channel or send us a comment on Facebook or Twitter. Be sure to check out our other project videos or visit us on makezine.com.